In this video, we put together essential business analyst interview questions with answers over six important categories like Tableau, R, SQL. These questions are for quick browsing before the interview or to act as a detailed guide on different topics in business analyst interviewers look for. General 1. Name the five basic elements categories in BPMN. They are flow objects, data, connecting objects, swim lanes, and artifacts. 2. How can you say that a requirement is good or perfect? The features and standards of a good requirement can be pointed out using a rule called smart rule. Specific, the description of a requirement should be perfect and specific enough to understand it. Measurable, there are various parameters through which the requirement's success can be measured. Attainable, resources should be able to achieve success with the requirement. Relevant, states that what results are realistically achieved. Timely, requirements of a project should be revealed in time. 3. How does CATWO help in business analysis and decision making? Customers, actors, transformation process, worldview, owners and environmental constraints, CATWO helps in making decisions ahead of time. It includes analyzing how those decisions will affect customers, C, who are involved as actors, A, what different transformation, T, processes are which might affect the system, global picture and worldwide, W, issues, who is responsible has ownership, O, for the business, and what the environmental, E, impacts will be of the project business. 4. Why do we use Activity Diagram? Activity Diagram is a graphical depiction flowchart of actions, representing a, ste a stepwise listing of activities. We use Activity Diagrams for the description of those business processes that describe the functionality of the business system. 5. What all various diagrams that a BA should have knowledge about? Activity diagram, this represents the flow from one activity to the other activity. Activity refers to the operation of the system. Below shown is an example of activity diagram. Data flow diagram, graphical representation of the flow of data into and out of the system. This diagram represents how data is shared between organizations. How a DFD looks like is shown below. Use case diagram. This diagram describes the set of actions that systems perform with one or more actors, users of the systems. Use case diagram is also called as a behavioral diagram. Sample use case diagram is shown below. Class diagram, this is the structural diagram that represents the structure of the system by showing its classes, objects, methods or operations, attributes etc. A class diagram is the main building block for detailed modeling which is used for programming. Below shown is an example of a class diagram. Entity relationship diagram, ER diagram, is the graphical representation of entities and the relationships between them. This is a data modeling technique. The example of an ER diagram is as below. Sequence diagram, sequence diagram describes the interaction between the objects like how they operate and in what time sequence the messages flow from one object to the other. Example for Sequence Diagram Collaboration Diagram Collaboration Diagram represents the communication that occurs between the objects by showing the messages flow among them. 6. What is a Feasibility Study? Feasibility Study is identifying the possibility, success rate, of the proposed idea for a business problem. It helps identify new opportunities and focus on the project. 7. How can you avoid scope creep? Do documenting the scope of the project By following proper change management Informing the effects of the change to the affected parties before making a change Documenting the new requirements in the project log 8. What is PUG matrix? 
Pug matrix is used to decide about the most optimal and alternate solutions. This technique is now a standard part of Six Sigma technique. It is also known as a problem or design matrix. 9. What are the important areas in a Kano analysis? Important areas in a Kano analysis are Unexpected delighters Performance attributes Must have attributes 10. How do you define personas? Personas are used instead of real users that assist developers and technical team in judging the user behavior in different scenarios. Personas are social roles performed by any actor or character. It is derived from a Latin word meaning character. In marketing terminology, it represents a group of customers and users. 11. What is Pareto analysis? Pareto analysis is a decision-making technique, also known as the 80-20th rule. It is used for quality control and defect resolution. It explains a few factors that can be responsible for big problems. It is named as 80-20th rule because as per this rule, 80% effects in the system arises from 20% causes. 12. What is a requirement elicitation technique? Requirement elicitation is a technique of requirements gathering from users, stakeholders, users, clients by conducting interviews, sessions, brainstorming, etc. 13. List the business analysis process flow. Information gathering. Identify the key stakeholders. Identify the business objective. Determine the available options. Scope definition. Define the delivery plan. Define the requirements for a project. Implementation and evaluation. 14. What is meant by benchmarking? The process of measuring the quality of policies, programs, products, rules and other measures of an organization against the st standard measures or against the other companies is termed as benchmarking. This is used to the measure the performance of a company to compete in the industry. 15. What is the major difference between risk and issue? A risk is a future event which negatively impacts business objective, while the issue is a result of events currently happening. 16. What is risk mitigation? Risk mitigation is what to do when a risk occurs. It reduces the probability of risk occurrence. It checks whether any impact occurs for the project business. Cost is high in case any risk occurs. 17. Name the two documents related to a use case. FRD, Functional Requirement Document. SDD, System Design Document. 18. What does PEST stand for? It means political, economic, social and technological. It is used to analyze the business environment in which it has to be operated. 19. What is business process modeling? Business process modeling is a part of business process management which is used to improve the business process. It is the representation of an organization's business process. 20. Define pair choice technique. The pair choice technique is used to give priority to various items in a process. It is mainly used when distinctive stakeholders are involved in the project. This technique asks the group to compare each item with others and select the one having the highest priority. 21. What is 8 Omega? It is a business framework that is mainly being adopted by firms and organizations for the betterment of their business. Its key factors are strategy, people, process and technology. 22. What are the initial steps involved in product development? Market analysis. SWOT analysis. Personas. Competitor analysis. Identifying the strategic vision. 23. Define use case points. 
Use case points are used to evaluate the cost of work done to develop the system. 24. How do you analyze performance met metrics? Make sure that your key deliverables are met. The budget and time for the project should not be extended. Quality deliverables are maintained. 25. What is a misuse case? It is a term derived from use case. Unlike use case, a misuse case is something that shows what kind of malicious activities can be performed by an actor that may result in system failure. 26. List various components of strategy analysis. Vision. Mission. Objectives. Strategies. Action Plan 27. What is the purpose of the Requirement Traceability Matrix? Requirement Traceability Matrix, RTM, is used to record all the requirements given by a client, so the purpose of RTM is to ensure that all of the mentioned requirements are met. 28. How do you define a requirement? A requirement is a capability possessed by a solution to solve a problem or achieve an objective. Requirements are input to various stages of SDLC and must be properly documented and validated by the business users' stakeholders. 29. What does BPMN stand for? BPMN is the business process model and notation. It is a graphical representation of business processes. 30. What does FME stand for? It means failure mode and effects analysis. It is a failure analysis that is used mainly in product development, system engineering and operations management. This analysis is performed to figure out various failure modes and their severity in any system. 31. List the core competencies of a business analyst. Analytical thinking and decision making. Business and industry knowledge. Business process management. Technical and soft skills. Problem solving and negotiation skills. 32. What is the Kano analysis? Kano analysis helps you to analyze a system. It helps to identify its impact on customer's satisfaction. 33. What is business modeling? Business modeling is identifying the value proposition for a business and then build, building a step-by-step -step approach for operating the business. This step-by-step -step approach is known as business modeling. It includes vision, mission and strategies to achieve the goals. 34. List the importance of a flowchart. It displays information graphically, which is both clearer and easy to grasp. Helps in process documentation. Helps programmers to write the logic. Aids testing and troubleshooting. 35. Define SaaS. SaaS means software as a service. It is related to cloud computing. It is different from other software bundles as you don't need this type of software to be installed on your machine. All you need is the internet connection and a web browser to use it. 36. What are project deliverables? Project deliverables are a set of measurable goods and services that are delivered to the end customer at the completion of a project. It is the outcome of the project. 37. What are the types of gaps that can occur during a gap analysis? Profit gap, it is the gap between the estimated and actual profit of a company. Manpower gap, it denotes the gap between the required number and quality of workforce and actual workforce strength in a company. Performance gap, it is the difference between the actual performance and the expected performance. Product market gap, it is the gap between estimated sales and actual sales. 38. Define BCG matrix. The Boston Consulting Group, BCG, matrix is developed to analyze several business processes and new product offerings from companies. It is a useful tool that can be used in portfolio analysis, 
स्ट्रैटेजिक मैनेजमेंट प्रोडक्ट मैनेजमेंट एंड ब्रांड मार्केटिंग थर्टी नाइन वॉट इज रिस्क अवॉइडेंस रिस्क अवॉइडेंस इज वॉट टू डू टू अवॉइड द रिस्क डॉट इट अवॉइड द रिस्क बाई इलिमिनेटिंग द कॉज डॉट इम्पैक्ट ऑफ द थ्रेट ऑक्रेंस इज रिड्यूस्ड टू जीरो परसेंट डॉट कॉस्ट इज एलिमिनेटेड इन रिस्क अवॉइडेंस डॉट फोर्टी वॉट इज बी आर डी अ बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट डॉक्यूमेंट इज अ फॉर्मल कॉन्ट्रैक्ट बिटवीन द क्लाइंट एंड द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन फॉर द डिवेलपमेंट ऑफ द स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट फोर्टी वन What are the different tools used in business analytics? MS Office and Studio Print a Python and Quick View and Tableau Sure 42. What do you mean by critical path analysis? A critical path is the set of activities which includes the longest path in the whole project. So, a critical path analysis is a key component in reducing project timelines and controlling cost. 43 Define BPMN Gateway BPMN Gateway is a processing modeling component that is used to control the flow of interaction the sequence of processes 44 How many types of an actor can be depicted in a use case Two types of actors can be depicted in a use case with primary and secondary actors Primary actors start the process and secondary actors assist them moreover actors can be of four types such as human system hardware and timer 45 what is a 100 point method this method is used to assign priority to different steps in a process each group member is supposed to assign points to different steps in the end all the points for each step are calculated The step having the highest points has the highest priority. 46 What do you know about gap analysis? It is a process of comparing and determining the difference between two things or processes. 47 What is meant by scope creep? Scope creep is defined as the uncontrolled or sudden changes or deviations in the project's scope without changes in other resources of the project. It is due to the failure in proper monitoring, miscommunication, etc. 48. What does square stand for? Square stands for security quality requirements engineering. It is one of the software engineering steps that mainly focus on documenting the security requirements of the system. 49 Tell us the difference between an alternate flow and an exception flow of a use case. Alternate flow are the alternative actions that can be performed apart for the basic flow and might be considered as an optional flow whereas exception flow is the path traversed in case of the error or an exception being thrown 50 define the use case model use case model shows a sequence of events and a stream of actions regarding any process performed by an actor 51 